collision regulations or rules of the road when you're sailing. Here are some tips. Hi, I'm Tony from Sailing Versions and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the rules of the road. So as soon as there's other vessels in the area, um, you need to know who the stand on, who the giveaway vessel is going to be. In this episode, I'm going to take you through the essentials so you are predictable um, to the other boats and can avoid collision. We call these the collision regulations or the coal regs. Um, so we'll be going through these um, fundamentals in eight steps. Hierarchy. We've got a hierarchy system just to rank who's uh, got priority over who. So the first one is if you're being overtaken. Uh, below that is not under command, followed by restricted in ability to maneuver, uh, followed by constrained by draft, then fishing, then sail, then power, and then uh, a lesser known one right at the bottom is uh, if you're a seaplane. But um, you don't need to worry about memorizing all of that. All you really need to know um, is any vessel that is being overtaken is the stand-on vessel and any vessel overtaking it is the giveaway. Um, and also that uh, us sailors, we sit way down in the hierarchy. Um, so pretty much only power boats have to give away to us. Number two, obligations. So just because sailboats are quite low down in the hierarchy doesn't mean we have to give way to everyone. Um, that would confuse the situation. Um, for instance, you know when you're walking down the street and you come up on someone else walking in the opposite direction and both of you don't know where to go. You both turn the same way, and then the same way, then the same way, and you end up walking into each other. Um, on the street, obviously that leads to a bit of awkwardness and you might just want to go home. Um, but on the water, that can lead to something more serious so you could get into a collision from that. Um, so the obligation part of this is figuring out who is the stand-on and who is the giveaway vessel. Um, there's no right of way in boating um, because that implies there's no obligation for either party. So uh, we'll go into that next. Stand-on vessel. So the stand-on vessel is obligated to maintain course and speed while avoiding collision. Um, be aware though, you still might actually have to execute evasive action if the giveaway vessel in the situation does not. Uh, number four, giveaway. So, as you might have guessed, this is the giveaway vessel you get out of the way. Um, it's important to make it clear that you intend to give way as well, so you want to have a noticeable change in course, speed, or something that keeps your intentions very clear. Number five, overtaking is always give way. So no matter who you are, um, if you're overtaking someone, you are always the give way vessel. Number six, under motor traffic light system. So the, the rule is when you're both motoring, um, you give way to the vessel to your starboard. Um, in reality, the easiest way to remember that is like a traffic light system. So if you're seeing the, uh, the green side of the boat, the starboard side, that means go, just like a traffic light. If you see the red side of the boat, the port side, that means stop. So, um, like I said, it's just like traffic lights. So in this scenario, vessel A is seeing the red side of vessel B. So this guy is the giveaway vessel. This guy is the stand-on vessel. Um, it's easier at night because obviously you can just see the lights, but in the day, just imagine what color you're seeing when you're looking at a boat. So, under sail, starboard attack is stand-on. Uh, when we're talking about the wind, we always talk about uh, the wind in terms of where it's coming from. So if um, you're on a starboard tack, the wind is coming from your starboard side. So this guy is on starboard tack. Um, if you are on starboard tack and the other boat is on port tack, then you are the stand-on vessel because stand, uh, starboard tack is the stand-on vessel. So this guy is the stand-on, this guy is the giveaway. He is on port tack. So number eight, same tack, downwind is stand on. So um, the way we remember this is the downwind vessel has dirtier air and fewer options than so this guy. So the rule makers um, have given him the advantage on this, so he is the stand on vessel. Conversely, if you're lucky enough to have the cleaner air, you'll give way, so this guy. So this guy gives way to this guy. All right, so there we have it. Eight tips and tricks for you to improve your coal reg knowledge. So uh, yeah, given we're here in the BVIs, 
let's head out for a day of sailing. I hope you enjoyed that uh, and if you did please like and subscribe um, if you do want to come join us uh, out on the water um, check out the, the links down below um, we sail in the BVI's in Croatia and Tahiti so hope to see you out there sailing urgent